Hi guys! Um, excuse my tired end of the day kind of appearance, but I got my November sea bag and I want to go ahead and open it with you guys. So this is my second or third Ipsy, I forget. I think it's my second. So um, the boxes that I currently get are Ipsy. I just started Birch Box, but I've gotten two of those. And then this is my second Ipsy. And then I started Lip Monthly and decided to cancel it. Um, I got my hair cut, in case you guys can't tell. It kind of looks sloppy right now, but I got like five inches taken off the back. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot lately I've had it up because I don't really know what else to do with it. It doesn't really look very great right now, but it actually is a really nice flattering cup for me, and I'm super happy about it. I will um, actually maybe film a video in the near future where I don't look like a slob, but here's my Ipsy unboxing. Um, the first thing that I see in here is a Mark Anthony product, which I'm super happy about. So it's a, this is out of the bag, it's a Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Aragon, Aragon Oil um, Hairspray. So it promises volume and shine, which is cool because with my new hair, I used to have my hair flat a lot and I'm definitely going to be wanting to have it a little bit more fuller. I have a lot more layers in. So let's see what it smells like. Ooh, it actually smells really good. Mm, I like that. Okay, so inside the bag we have our card. Girl meets, meets glitter. Life is short. Wear glitter. The secret of making the ordinary extraordinary. Add some glitter and shimmer and shine to your everyday look. Snap a pic of your sparkly November glam bag and tag Ipsy at Ipsy, hashtag Ipsy, or hashtag Girl Meets Glitter for a chance to win a one-year subscription to more shiny, pretty glam bags. Woo! Life is short. So here's the glam bag. It's really sparkly. This will be cute. Like, I would, I would carry this around on New Year's Eve or something. Well, I probably have other sparkly bags, but maybe put it in my makeup bag or in my, use this as my makeup bag for maybe the holidays. It's cute. It has an Ipsy thingy on it. Oh, and um, apparently this bag was made in conjunction with Forever 21 because it says Forever 21 Cosmetics for Ipsy. Okay, so there's no card for this one. I always forget that. So I'm just going to pull out items as they come. So we got a Star Looks eyeliner and it's in like this purple color I kind of want to open this if I can I have a hard time opening up these plastic doodads sometimes but I really kind of want to well you know what I'm not going to open this because I will probably hurt myself and I could probably give this away I have a feeling I won't be using it but it's like a hard eyeliner and it's purple um, let's see if you can see that it, it's coming off black, but it really is like a dark. Well, here's my black fingernails, and then here's this. So now you can see sort of a difference. It's like a purplish. So it's an eyeliner. I'm not a big fan of, of um, stick eyeliners like that. Then this is cute. It's a SB highlighter in pink pearl. It's a Temp 2 product. It's liquid. So, it's like a dropper. Ooh, it's really liquidy. So, I just put a, a thing of it on my hand. It's pretty. I don't think that you can, you can see it. But it does have like a pinkish luster to it. It's pretty. I mean, it is the holiday season. You can never be too sparkly. Just like it said. So the next thing that I pull out of this bag is a Be A Bombshell product. And I don't have any Be A Bombshell products. So I'm happy about this. And it is in the color Submissive. That sounds all BDSM and dirty. Be A Bombshell Eye Base. 
Okay. So let's open this bad boy up. This submissive color. Mm. Oh, it's cute. It comes in like one of those little tubs like um, color tattoo, Maybelline color tattoo or the L'Oreal Infallibles. And it looks like that. And I will swatch it. It looks kind of glittery, but not like extremely. So I can kind of see why they're calling it, there it is, why they're calling it an eye base, because that would look good under eyeshadows or as a highlighter. So that's nice. And like I said, it's my very first Be A Bombshell. I like their little logo. It's cute. It's a bee with a little girl leaning up against it. A girl that has anorexia. She's really skinny. She is, wow, her arms are like sticks. <sighs> you know, that's not a bombshell, but okay, what ups? What ups? Okay, there's one more product in here, people. Whoop, whoop. Oh my. Oh my. Oh no, I dropped one of my products. I'll get it in a second before my cat does. Is this an obsessive compulsive lip tar? No. It is a an eye cat lip tar in the color Red Potion. Oh, I want to put this on because I've never really had a lip tar and I've always wanted one. So I've played with them like at Sephora, the obsessive compulsive ones. So I'm putting a little dot on this little card here. And I'm going to use my brand new lip pencil, maybe, or I'll grab one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give me a moment and I'll put this on. Hang tight here, guys. It really goes on dark. Whoa. I'm going to spread it around a little bit. That's like a wine color. You know what? If I had on my full face of makeup, this might look not look as stark, but I don't have any makeup on right now. And it also might be that sort of thing where I might have applied too much. I know whenever I played with obsessive compulsive stuff before, it was a little too crazy. So, y'all, you know, like if I go at it with a lighter hand like this, a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to play around with it. So I'll show you what that looks like again. It's called, let's see, where is it? It looks just like the obsessive compulsive packaging. It's like a tube of lip tar like this, but it's an iCap brand. And I saw this somewhere recently and I know it was like $6 or $8.99 or something like that. I want to say it was at Ulta? No, I don't, I don't know. It was somewhere they had it, and I was like, oh, I should get one. So I'm kind of glad that I got one to try out. It seems a little dark, but we'll see. Um, like I said, I don't really have on, you know, full makeup right now, and I kind of look kind of tired and pale, so it might just be that on my skin that's making me look all washed out. But, okay, guys, that was my Ipsy for 2014. November. So next week, Thanksgiving is coming up. In addition to it being Thanksgiving, it's also my birthday. I was actually born on Thanksgiving, and my birthday is landing on Thanksgiving this year. So that's super exciting. Yay! Gobble, gobble. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.